What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and in this video I am going to show you a secret method on how you can get leads, emails and clients for your social media agency organically by using Facebook. No, I don't waste no time. What's going on guys and welcome to a new video. So like I said in the introduction, today we're going to be using a secret Facebook method. I say secret, probably the whole world knows uh, by now, but I'm going to use a Facebook method um, to basically help you capture leads, emails and get clients for your own social media marketing agency. Okay, now there are, there are a few things that we do need uh, for this. It's basically a four step process. Step number one, is pick a niche now um you know obviously there's a lot of discussion do you need a niche when starting out do you need to you know basically niche down and drill down to find that niche when you know you are basically just a complete beginner um but all that aside for this method you will need to pick a niche okay so decide upon a niche and then step number two is to basically turn your Facebook profile into a profile funnel, which we'll get to in a moment. Step number three is create a Facebook group. And step number four is literally uh, you know, engage with all the groups and siphon those leads into your own group, okay? Simple four-step process. Like I said, first of all, you need to pick a niche. Um, so let's say we're gonna focus on lead gen for this, um, and you know, I'll, I'll show you guys in a moment. You know, what how you can actually um, pick a niche that works best for this. The second thing is, like I said, a profile funnel. So as you can see here, this is my own Facebook profile. And quick disclaimer: I have not invented the profile funnel um, I've got all this from another digital marketer called Josh Gavin um, so he takes full credit for this um, I'm just literally just modeling success here uh, but as you can see here uh, my uh, cover photo says book a free strategy call and then it says I help aspiring entrepreneurs start online businesses using Facebook ads which is true I have my own coaching business where I teach you guys how to start your own social media agency and how to you know build it up and you know basically push it to six figures by the way guys for those of you that are interested in that again it will be linked in the description box down below or if you're on the fence about it you're unsure i also offer uh, just like free calls like you, like you see here book a free strategy call so if you want to get on the phone with me if you want to discuss uh, where you're at and how i can help you push your agency or help you start your agency uh, then like i said book a free call and we know we can see if we're a right fit for each other but with that said all plugs aside as you can see here my cover photo explains in a nutshell what i do i help aspiring entrepreneurs start online businesses and i've got a call to action to book a free strategy call then in my intro or bio if you will I've got another link which also links to the same thing, book a free strategy call. I've got a website here, again, same link. And then I've got this featured photo which basically says, you know, what I do is learn how to start and scale your social media business from your laptop. And then it points to that arrow, which like I said, again, it just points all to the same thing. Even if you click on my cover photo, it says here, learn more here. Again, it all goes to the same thing. Same goes for my profile photo, as you can see here. Everywhere there is links and it's all leading to the same place, which is to book a free strategy call. And what I want you to do is the exact same, but then with your Facebook group, okay? So like I said, uh, step number three is obviously to create a Facebook group. I don't know why I opened a new tab, because all we need to do is click on search. And what I want you to now do is basically create a Facebook group that is relevant to the niche that you have chosen. So let's say you are, actually, let's just actually look at what groups there are available. Let's go for um, Dentists UK and then go to, so obviously, you know, if you search, you've got all oh, your got post pages. Now, if you are doing outreach, then obviously you need to go to pages, uh, which I've got tons of videos on as well. And uh, for this video, we're gonna go to groups. So as you can see here, we've got dentist groups. Um, this one's got 60 posts a day, helping dentists Facebook group, will dentist group. So as you can see, there are groups that dentists, you know, basically, um, or dentists all go to to you know exchange ideas and knowledge etc same goes for restaurants same goes for car dealerships etc so as soon as you've sort of picked a niche that you're going to go for i want you to click on the right hand side click on manage groups and then create your own group so let's say we um what should we go for guys 
restaurants, okay? So let, let's call this um, helping, um, let's say, increase, increasing business for restaurants. No, increasing, how can we say this guys? Increasing, helping restaurants get more clients. Helping restaurants get more clients with Joshua George, okay? It's very important that you add your own name to this and I will get to that in just a moment. Um, I will add demo to this, you don't need to, this is obviously just for me because if people see that I've got a new group, they're gonna think what is going on. Okay, now very, very important. When you select your um, like visibility and privacy, I want you to create a private group, okay? So people need to request access to it. However, the group does need to be visible to everyone that searches for it, okay? So for example, with uh, masterminds, private Facebook groups, etc., you can also hide the group. So only people with the group link can find it. However, we want to, you know, to show people that the group is available there if people want to request access to it, but they do need to actually request it. You know, they can't just join the group and see everything that is in the group. Okay, so as soon as you've created that, you click on the create button, you can pin it to shortcuts, so it's here on the left-hand side. Then, obviously, you need to beef it up, you know, like I said, um, add a cover photo, basically create a second sort of profile funnel here. So you can add a cover photo to it, you can uh, add all the information to it. And then what I want you to do is go to more, and then go to edit group settings, okay? Because this, this is where the juicy stuff happens, guys. This is uh, where we basically separate the the groups from i don't know what i'm talking about here so i was going to say separate the men from the boys but um so what you do is go to membership requests and then click on ask questions okay because what we are now going to do is ask the people that request access to the group to leave their email address prior to you know getting access to the group okay so we can say something like um would you this group is shutting down now the group is not shutting down uh, would you like uh, or leave your email address below to uh, receive my restaurant um, strategy ebook? I have no idea, guys. You'll have to think of something that you've got, create a quick template or ebook, or even if you just say my restaurant um, strategy, my restaurant. I don't know, restaurant freebies or something like that. So you don't even need to send them an actual ebook. Restaurant strategy freebies, okay? So you add that as a question and then people need to leave their email address before they can actually, um, you know, request access. They can actually leave nothing so they can just like type a space, uh, but then you can just, you know, you don't have to approve them. It's up to you, obviously, if you want to approve them regardless, then you can. But you want to create the, basically make it a rule that people need to leave their email address before they can request access to the group, okay? So you save that, and now everyone who wants to join this group um, will need to you know, fill out their email address, and that is when they get access to this group, okay? So that is method number one. You are basically getting emails uh, by you know having a Facebook group, and um, then what you'll get is if people request access to the group uh, let me see if anyone's so as you can see here this is my other facebook group as you can see here these people have requested access to my group and as you can see they have left their email address as well what you can then do is use a software called group convert which is let's see how much it is it's ten dollars um what is it a month yeah ten dollars a month um and then you know you can basically have an integration so that if people fill out their email address here, it automatically gets uploaded to a Google Sheets, okay? From there, you can add a Zap to it. So with Sapier, which is a free software, you can add a Zap that everyone who gets added to the sheet gets uploaded to your email list and so on and so forth. Or if you're lazy like me, you can just get a virtual assistant to copy and paste those email addresses into your um, you know, email software, which for me is Active Campaign. But this is uh, quite a you know, handy little plugin tool. Um, let's see if they've got a quick little, I won't show you the video guys because I want to keep this short. But as you can see, uh, you fill out your own email, it's a plugin, and then every single time someone um, requests access to the group, it automatically sends the email to uh, to group convert, which is a Google Sheet. Okay, so then when people request access to the group, 
they fill out their email address and then you've got the, that lead that you can then retarget with emails, okay? But obviously now we have our group which is completely empty so we need to start filling up this group with potential high quality leads. So what we're gonna do, uh, we've picked restaurants so what we'll need to do is type in restaurants UK or US, whatever you want, and then go to groups, and then request access to all of these groups. Okay, so three posts a day is probably um, not worth it. Here we go, restaurant owners and managers group, 30 posts a day. Let's see what else. Restaurant community, 10 posts a day. Indian restaurant staff required, probably not. Restaurant marketing tips, four posts a day. That's actually quite a good group to go to. Um, restaurant hospitality, no. Restaurant equipment, no. Restaurant owners network, two posts a day is a little, not really worth the time. Restaurants career, um, possibly. Marketing for restaurant owners, good group to go to, seven posts a week. Not really a lot, but as you can see, you know there are enough groups to choose from. You just need to find the most active, okay? Request access to the 10 most active Facebook groups. Um, you know, as soon as you have access to the groups, what I want you to do is start engaging with people in the groups, okay? So let's say we've got this one, um, business owners, service providers, spam free group. So as you can see here, they're already saying it, you cannot have links to your Facebook group, you cannot have links to your service, uh, you cannot ask for a free consultation, stuff like that. You need to infiltrate this group and siphon the lead. They need to come out to themselves, okay? They need to be interested in who you are. So as you can see here, um, who have we got here? Gautam, Gautam is the owner of the group. Now let's uh, pretend that Gautam is just a restaurant owner and he's not the actual owner of this group, okay? Gautam has got a question, um, he is, struggling to fill up his restaurant on Tuesday nights, okay? I no idea, just Tuesday night is a quiet night for him and um, he's tried various things. He's tried cocktails, two for 10. Um, you know, he's tried, um, I don't know, uh, a free drink with every menu that involves meat, no idea. But um, what you then do is reply to Gautam in the comments so everyone can see that you are replying. Um, so don't send them a direct message or anything like that and just say, hey Gautam, um, you know, I understand how frustrating that may be. This is an issue that I had as well. Um, what we did for one of our, I don't know, consultant clients, again, try and tone it down. Don't be salesy. Is, is listen, uh, we actually ran a offer where um, it's two for one on starters. Again, I'm just, just off the top of my head, guys. Two for one starters, and this really filled up the Tuesday nights because we only did it on the Tuesday. Or you can say, um, hey, Gautam, uh, that sounds very annoying. What I would suggest you do is um, run a giveaway for free pizza for an entire year and then have it in like the like the disclaimer that it's only for Tuesdays and you can only have one pizza a month and stuff like that. So obviously, you know, you don't get free pizza for a year, but a big giveaway will drive a lot of engagement and traffic to his socials. And then, you know, uh, that will also fill up that Tuesday night because obviously the people that win the giveaway can only go on Tuesdays, you know, stuff like that. Provide value, provide information. And then what you'll notice is that slowly but surely you'll become an authority figure within these groups, okay? And there's also, there's always an overlap, okay? There's always people that are in this group, but also in the other group. And they'll notice that you're active providing value. You know, you're not being sales, you're not expecting anything in return. You know, you're just literally there to provide value. And then over time, people will try and figure out who you are. So, um, and this is where, you know, the, the Facebook group name comes in because people are going to figure out, like try and figure out who, who is this Joshua George guy that's providing value. And as you can see here, when you type in my name, which leads to the funnel, which leads to the Facebook group, you also get the actual Facebook group that we're trying to promote. So that is why it's really important to have your name in the Facebook group, okay? Because people will search for your name before they actually search for the group, okay? So as you can see here, they see Joshua George and they say, hey, helping restaurants get more clients. They click on it, they see the group, okay? They will request access to the group because you're providing value. They know if it's your group, it must be a good group because you know if you're providing value in other people's groups, they can't imagine the amount of value that you're providing in your own group, okay? Now let's say they don't, they don't click on the group, they just click on you as a person. They then get, you know, they are then brought to your profile funnel, which leads to the group. So you can say like, okay, I help restaurants get more clients in on Tuesday nights, book uh, or click here to join the group. And then all the links lead to the group, okay? So first you are getting the emails, which you can then retarget using an email blast or anything like that. 
Secondly, you've got a Facebook group full of qualified leads for your niche. And then in that group, you can do whatever you want because you are the owner of the group. You can spam them with uh, free consultation calls. You can, uh, you know, I don't know, upsell them on all kinds of stuff because it's your group. You decide you are not uh, dependent on the algorithm. You're not dependent on Facebook ads, etc. You No, know, literally, you can do with that group whatever you want, okay? With that said, speaking of the algorithm, over time, the bigger the group gets, the, the the more the engagement will suffer because not everyone will engage as much as you know people will in the, st- at the beginning. You know, if there's only ten people in the group, all ten people will engage because everyone will get notifications that there's a message in the group. Now, if there's two thousand people in the group, you won't get that. Not all two thousand people will get a message if there's a new post in the group. Roughly ten percent will actually see and engage with your content, and that is why you've got the email list as a backup. So if people don't see the message in the group, so let's say you say, um, you know, I am taking on one more client for my restaurant agency. Um, You know, if you want to get more leads and more sales for your restaurant, um, you know, book a free call and we can see if we're the right fit for each other. Now, let's say, you know, not everyone sees that message. You can then send an email blast because you've got everyone's email in that group uh, you know, just to make sure that everyone gets that message that you're trying to get out. Okay, so that is all I've got for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got some out of it. Like I said, guys, like I'm literally doing this for myself. Okay, now, obviously I'm not for restaurants, but I'm doing this for the B2C level for my coaching group. Um, so you know, it's I can, I'm practicing what I preach here. Okay, this is not just something that I made up or I'm teaching. You know, this, this is literally like this is happening to me. You know, for me on a daily basis. So uh, like I said, next to my own social media agency, Brampaneer. I also have my own coaching business where I basically, you know, teach you guys how to start and scale your own agency. So if you are interested in that, I've got a free group, but I, you can also just schedule a direct uh, free call with me and we can discuss if I can actually help you further with it. But with that said, I am wrapping up this video. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more and click on that little bell icon so you get notification every single time I upload and I'll see you guys in the next video.